Hi, I'm Dennis Kelderman with the Cessna Structures Group. Today I'd like to show you how to saturate composite cloth using non-bonding film. In a previous video, I used the, the method of the stipple brush. The stipple brush works great if, if, it, if that's the situation for you in which may, perhaps the cloth is already laid out in the repair and that sort of thing. But the benefits of the wet method is it keeps me out of the the adhesive, it keeps me clean, and, and it also uh, allows me to be able to uh, have a ply that is completely saturated, so when I'm ready to install it, it's there waiting for me. So let's go ahead and give it a try. This method can be used uh, with any of the different composite uh, claws that we use, as well as any of the the different adhesives that we use, whether it be 9309, 9396, 9394. We often talk about the uh, B-type sealant in our group. Today I'm going to be using the B-type adhesive, B-type adhesive. So what we'll do is we place the adhesive on the repair ply. You can see that the non-bonding film is quite a lot larger than the actual repair ply because we're going to squeeze this extra adhesive out of the area. So we take a uh, spreader or some will call a bondo spreader and we begin to work the adhesive into our repair ply. And what I like to do is don't worry about applying a lot of pressure to begin with. I just want to get that adhesive kind of widely distributed. You can see here I'm, I'm wanting to fill that circle first before I even consider going outside of it. It's always easy to pull adhesive away from the repair ply, but it's very difficult to get it back again. So we, we don't want to have a dry area or a, an area that could end up being a, a, an air bubble. So the further I bring that out, it tells me whether or not I have enough adhesive. If I didn't have enough, I'd have to peel my ply back, my non-bonding film, and add more. So we always want to add a little bit more than we really need. The nature of composite repairs are that we want to get rid of the excess of adhesive in the cloth. Excess adhesive does not add any strength to the repair. All it does is add weight to the airplane. So I want to slowly pull this out. Pulling, pulling, pulling with the, the squeegee or spreader, whatever we want to call it. Now, I haven't really applied any pressure to speak of at this point. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see these areas that are pooling up of extra adhesive that I'm pulling off. Once we get this entire patched area here covered, then we'll start pulling a little bit of pressure. We hold our plastic down on the opposite side. We want to make sure we keep this sandwich all together. Pulling the adhesive off of our repair ply. And as we do this, the repair ply becomes more and more translucent in appearance.
Okay. Well, I hope you found this to be helpful. If you need any kind of help in the area of structure on your Cessna aircraft, give us a call at 316-517-6061 or perhaps send us an email at csstructures at Cessna.com. Thanks.